And welcome back, Yo Bro Nation, as we are reviewing WandaVision, Season 1, Episode 3, Now in Color. And I am letting you know, all ahead, spoilers. There will be spoilers. So, how's everyone doing today? Uh, yes, I know, I'm like a week behind, but that's, that's just my schedule. <laughs> I'm busy, what can I say? Um, sorry, sending a message. Um, so, yes, hello everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, oh god, I'm terrible. So yeah, WandaVision. Uh, again, I must emphasize, there will be spoilers in this review. There will be spoilers in this review. This was, um, this was an okay episode. I would say it was an okay episode because not a lot really happens until you get towards the end of the episode. That's when things pick up. That's when things actually start to happen. That's when you're like, oh, okay. People have been acting weird. People are starting to talk what is actually happening you, you kind of see in this episode the um the facade of this town kind of start to wane a little bit you see the true colors of people start to kind of show through in this episode just with the weirdness like kind of a creepy weirdness like very uncomfortable creepy if you know what I mean. It, it's weird. I don't know how to describe it. But you kind of see that happen in this episode. And you just... The feel of the people in the town, the few that she's interacting with, is just different. And... I, I'm, I'm still not sure if this is something Wanda herself has created. Whatever's going on. Again, Spoilers. Or if this is something being done by someone else. But we're definitely getting big teases. But like I said, it didn't really start to happen till the end of the episode. The last maybe five, six minutes is when things are like, oh, what is what is really going? What is really going on here? Where are they taking this? What direction is this show going to be going? And I don't know. It's just... It's it's definitely interesting. This was a slow episode, and you know all shows have slow episodes. I mean, this episode was mainly around Wanda being pregnant, and this this pregnancy very like she gets pregnant and has that baby within the same like twenty four hour period, essentially. Um, and then you add in the creep factor of everything else that's going on throughout the episode with, you know, her herb and the other neighbor, as they put an IMDb, the nosy neighbor, uh, kind of being there. Geraldine showing up and her acting weird towards the end. And you find out in the episode that she's probably someone else. Uh, we'll talk about that. But again, spoilers in this review spoilers in this review i must stress that spoilers <clears throat> but a lot of spoilers um just yeah you see a lot of weirdness it's just the all are acting so weird and the man I, you know i'm just gonna screw it uh i'll review the episode as a whole but i just want to jump to the end and everything okay so wanda has the baby right or should I say babies? Wanda has twin, twin boys. I know Tommy is one of them. I didn't catch the other name. So one of the boys is going to be named Tommy. So Vision decides he's going to take the doctor back out because he rushed, brought the doctor over. So they walk out, and that just leaves Wanda and Geraldine left in 
the house by themselves. And, you know, Vision's kind of asking the doctor, you know, so you're still going to make that trip. He's like, oh, I suppose not. Because, you know, small towns, you know, you never, how does he put it? Um, actually, I wrote this down. He tells him, you know, you know, small towns, so hard. And, and the way he says it, it's like, He's trying to, to, to hint at something, but he's not trying to really say anything. And he does that earlier in the episode, too, when Vision's talking to him. He's acting weird. But he's like, you know, hard towns, you, you know, you know, they're so, you know, small towns, they're so hard to escape. And you're just kind of like, what is he, what is he talking about? What is he getting at? Um, and then you see the neighbors standing there and they're talking to Vision again. And... They're asking, hey, is, is Geraldine in there, Geraldine by herself? And then we cut back to Geraldine and Wanda. And Wanda starts saying, you know, hey, I'm a twin, you know. And she brings up her, her brother, Quicksilver. And the, she's talking about him. She starts singing a song. And Geraldine, out of nowhere, is just kind of like... Yeah, wasn't your brother killed by Ultron? And everything just kind of stops. And everyone's just, you know, Wanda's like, wait, what'd you say? And we go back out, and then the neighbors are talking about her. And they're like, you know, she's not from here. She's new. She just moved here. You know, she's by herself. And they said, but, you know, it makes sense. Because they, and they say, well, we're all, and they won't say it. You know, we're all, and they look almost hesitant. But you can tell they're just acting so weird and vision's like you're all what and i think i know where it's going but we cut back and Wanda's like no what'd you say she's like oh i, I just said you're a really strong woman it's like no that's not what you said tell me what you said but now you can see geraldine starting to like try to detract and and Wanda's like you need to go and she's like what is it and she's asking what's that on her neck and you know she's clutching it and you could tell it's the sword symbol, or at least a version of. It's the sword symbol. So you're like, wait a minute, she doesn't belong here, clearly. So we cut back, and then the neighbors are like, just completely like, nothing. They're not going to say nothing. They're not going to tell them what's going on. They're just, psh, nope, not doing it. So Vision's just confused, and when he comes back inside... Wanda's acting differently. Oh, everything's great. She had to go. What the fuck? So then we see Geraldine, like, f come flying out of this, this electrical barrier. And then all these militar militaristic vehicles pull up. And they're coming, I guess, to get her. So, I guess, basically, there's a spoiler. That's Monica Rambo. Now... I don't think she's... I think she's there to try to, to, to somehow get in. I don't know if it's to, to rescue Wanda or if it's to um, perhaps stop Wanda. But even I think even she's under whatever issues happen, I think she is legitimately being affected by whatever's going on inside this bubble, this electrical bubble. Um, but I don't know if it's... Wanda is controlling everything because she certainly has had the ability to stop things and fix things. Because there's even another point where um, where they're talking, Wanda and Wanda and uh, Vision are talking, and he's talking to her like, "Hey, you know, the neighbors and everything. It's just all not adding up. It's weird. Like something's not right here, and it glitches back." And Vision is starting that same line, and things are very odd. But I know we can get through this together. Like he, he the, the whole thing changes, and this is the second time this has happened, where things have changed and they've if they've rerouted. It. And it seems like Wanda is in control of whatever is happening. Like she has control of said situation, which leads me to believe that it's not that they're stuck there. But Wanda's kind of in control of the narrative of said story. Like, she's living out a story. Like, maybe maybe Wanda is reliving shows she watched as a child. You know. In Sokovia and stuff. 
So that's why I'm like, what is going on? But, but then you still hear that voice coming over that radio, of, you know, Wanda, Wanda, what are they doing to you? Asking her if she's okay. So it's like, where is this going? You know, because she obviously took the death of Vision hard. And she's having a hard time accepting it. So would, you know, and she has the powers to create worlds. And I don't know. It's just weird. It's like, is this going to be a thing where it is Wanda? Or are we just going to think it's Wanda, but it's really someone using Wanda's abilities? I don't know. She's noticing things are weird. But then at the same time, she's able to change things, I think. I don't know. It's 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 weird. And you don't know. I don't know. It's confusing. It, it's it's giving you breadcrumbs to say maybe this is Wanda, but maybe it's not. And now with the neighbors kind of starting to like, I don't know, it's like the cracks are starting to show. And, but they're still trying to keep up this facade of, oh no, we're just, you know, living the happy life. Ha ha ha. None of us are noticing things are changing. Uh, we get another Hydra reference, this time with Hydra Soap. So maybe Hydra's behind it. Maybe that's their little breadcrumb. Hydra. Hydra is the force behind what's happening. Hail Hydra. I don't know. They're not really giving you a whole lot. It's only episode three, so clearly they're not going to give you everything all at once. So... Um... I don't know, but I'm definitely... What? What is your thoughts? Uh, what What do you think? What What um, What do you think is going on? Give your theories, you know, in the comments below, obviously. What are your theories? Where do you think it's going to go? I am curious, but the episode, like I said, um, that's the big thing. I, I think that they're, all the people there are dead. I think all the people who are there are dead. And Wanda is using dead souls to create this town so that everything for Vision and her are a thing. Or maybe other or maybe Hydra figured out a way to harness her power to do this. I don't know. Obviously it's connected to her power somehow. But I think either she's either being manipulated or she's just doing this herself. We'll find out. But let me know what you think, your theories down in the comments below. Now other than that, this episode was like kind of, it was very funny. And it's just all based around Wanda and Vision having a baby. They had this nice like, uh, <clears throat> this like homage to Carol Burnett and her opening back in the day for her show. So that was funny. You know, the very 70s feel, even with the opening, it's like a very, it was like a Brady Bunch episode opening up the doctor there well you're definitely pregnant we kind of figured that and then vision reading this book about babies and she's starting to have like these braxton hicks things she's like oh that would put you about six months you know and they, they can tell that this is clearly not a normal pregnancy and they're trying to figure it out and they're trying to you know learn how to do all this stuff within just these hours and then all of a sudden she's going into labor you know and then she's you know her powers aren't... She's not able to control her powers like she normally would. They're overreacting. Like, they cause the power of the block to just go out. Water, it, you know, it's raining in her house at one point. Um, she even, like... It's like poltergeist activity in the house when she's giving birth to the first... You know, for the first kid, you know, Tommy. And it's just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> like, a lot of weird things happening... And it's, I don't know, it was a good episode, but it was also just very fillery up till the end when you get the whole reveal and everything. So, good episode. I enjoyed it. Not a lot happens, but it is funny. And just the teases. The big thing is the teases at the end with what's really going on, what's happening to them. They're teasing you, but they're not outright saying hey, Wanda, and all, all of them are dead. I don't think Wanda's dead, because we already know Wanda's going to be in the next Doctor Strange movie. Which is going to tie into this, hey, maybe maybe Doctor Strange is going to be at the end of this episode, or at the end of this season, and then we're just going to go straight into it. I don't know. But good episode. 
Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Uh, <laughs> um, before I go, though, so yeah, Geraldine comes in. Uh, she's she's saying, call me Foxy. Like, and she tells, talks about have, getting this promotion. There's a stork in there, like, chugging at, like, trying to walk around her, tugging at her pants. It was funny. And then Vision trying to go get the doctor, acting like a crazed new dad. It was a very entertaining show um, today. But, man, it's just that ending. Just that ending of, wait, who is that sword? Is this someone else coming in and getting, you know... I'm, you know, might as well call her Monica at this point. Monica Rambeau. Um, how is she in there? Why is she in there? What is that that they're in? It's it's weird. And the fact that they're flashing through decades now. I think the next episode, they're going to be in the 80s. It's going to be like an E.T.-inspired episode, from what I can tell. And you can even notice, like, when they're in that 70s setting, it's very much filmed like a 70s tv show with a little bit of the modern way they shoot things and then once monica is ejected from that however she was ejected from that then immediately the style of the way it was shot was different the angles were different it was a very more modern look like the the gloss was taken away and it was just a very raw look so i appreciated the way they did that so that was really awesome but i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna stop rambling I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, let me know what you guys, again, thought down in the comments below. You guys can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, at Nation. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and share this to your friends. But that's going to do it for me. Remember, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and above all else, join the nation. And I'll talk to you later. Yo Bro Nation! Join us at tpublic.com forward slash Yo Bro Nation for our all new merch lineup. Like the recess still ain't old. The Yo Bro Nation Entertainment t shirt. The Sidekick Susie Stranger Things shirt. It's a pretty sweet shirt. The Yo Bro Nation Swirly shirt. How about I Love Yo Face Sidekick Susie t shirt? Ooh. Or the Rainbow Sidekick Suzy shirt. Yeah, yeah. Also, this exclusive limited time offer, we got a Forever Serenity special sale! <sighs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? I think it's pretty awesome. Hope for an Ambi special sale. Help support a friend who really needs the help. Three different t shirt designs. We got the Hope for Ambi Black Angel t shirt. The Hope for Ambi, Do You Want to Beat Up Cancer t-shirt. So yes, shop with us now at tpublic.com forward slash Yo Bro Nation. Get all your shirts, stay safe, stay healthy, and above else, join the nation.